What is up guys? Welcome back to Disc Golf Weekly. And this week we're actually going to be doing a three-part series on the 2016 Trilogy Challenge Discs. This series was made possible by the awesome people over at Dynamic Discs. So as always, a big big thank you goes out to them for making this possible. This is going to be part one and in this video we're going to be reviewing the Dynamic Discs disc for the Trilogy Challenge, the putter called the Marshall. So like I said, the Marshall is the putter for the 2016 Trilogy Challenge and this is the Dynamic Disc Discs contribution to the Trilogy Challenge. The Marshall is a, it's an overstable putter. Um, I wouldn't say it's nearly as overstable as something like their Justice or the Harp from West Side Discs, but it's definitely more overstable than the putters that they already have, those being the Judge and the Warden. And one thing that this Marshall does not have, as you can see in some of these clips, is it really doesn't have the glide that the, the Dynamic Discs and the entire Trilogy lineup is really known for. And especially for a putter, this was something that really surprised me about it. Um, the, the Trilogy Discs are always known, like I said, they're known for their glide. And this, the Marshall just doesn't seem to have that, it doesn't seem to match that. Uh, which I think can definitely come in handy, but it wasn't what I was expecting. Uh, with a Trilogy Disc and it being a putter, I was expecting a lot of glide, um, and, and it just didn't really have that. That's not exactly a negative, it's just not what I was expecting out of the disc. And as you guys can see in some of these shots, it's in the retro plastic, which is basically their version of like a DX or a Pro D plastic. That's their most baseline plastic. Um, which this was actually my first experience with the retro plastic and I loved it. Um, I love the feel of it, I love the grip of it. But usually those discs are going to be less overstable than something like a Lucid Plastic or Champion for Minima. And it, it really didn't seem to make much difference to me. Um, it, it definitely held up to some power shots, um, and as you guys can see, it held some Heiser lines. And now we're getting into some of the more Anheuser lines. I know that shot there that you just saw, it did slip out of my hand a little bit early, but you could see it released with just a touch of Anheuser, and it started fighting right away. It didn't want to carry off to the right much at all, um, which was something that I really noticed with this disc. To get it to carry on an Anheuser, you had to put a serious Anheuser angle on it and really get some power into it. And there's another one, um, that's Alex, he's from Central Coast Disc Golf, if you guys ever watch. Um, he's basically their Portland guy. Um, so if you ever watch any of the Central Coast stuff, there's one of their guys. Um, super nice guy, he's going to be helping me out with the channel a little bit. You'll probably see him in some future videos as well. But there's another example where I was talking about how it really fights out of Anheuser lines unless you really get some power into it. And now this shot that you're going to be seeing here, it's the same hole as the last clip, but this one I put more Anheuser on it, I put more power on it, and you can see that it holds it just perfectly the entire time. And now this shot here, uh, I was debating whether or not I wanted to keep it. This was basically me throwing a putter as hard as I could just to see what would happen. There was a slight, slight headwind, maybe a couple miles an hour, um, but as you saw there, it just flipped over and it didn't even bother coming back. And here again, just a big Anheuser, and it just kind of holds it. One thing that I really wasn't able to do was get a nice flex line out of it. It seemed that I could either throw an Anheuser and it would basically flatten out into the ground, or it would fight out of it almost immediately. And now here, where I think this disc is definitely going to come most useful um, is going to be on these 100, 200 foot up shots. Like I mentioned earlier, it really doesn't have a ton of glide, and so you don't have to worry about shooting past the basket if there's a drop off or a lake or something like that. Um, I can definitely see this disc really coming in handy for those you know, short to mid range hyzer up shots, maybe something straight that you just want to throw with some spin on it. It's in the retro plastic, so it just sits really nice. But definitely, like I said, with the lack of glide and the overstability, you definitely don't have to worry about this thing you know, going long and sailing out there. And here's just a quick forehand shot. My forehand isn't very good, and it's a putter, so that makes it even worse. Um, but for you forehand guys, there you go. So now we're going to see how it works as a putting putter, which I think most people are going to be using this for at the Trilogy Challenge. Um, and one big advantage of having Alex crap, <laughs> of having Alex come in here is that he's actually more of a push putter, and I'm more of a spin putter. So this way you'll get to see uh, you'll get to see how it flies with both putting styles. Um, 
And like I said, the lack of glide, we really noticed it with putts, you know, around the circle's edge and just outside. Uh, as you saw, you know, we were getting some front rim shots all day. Um, you know, we kept hitting the cage, kept hitting the cage, and eventually, you know, if you aim a little bit higher, you put a little bit more into your putt than you're used to. As you can see now, you can really bang some putts with this thing. Handles the wind pretty nice. Uh, there wasn't really too much wind when we were out there filming, but the, when there was wind, it seemed to handle it fine. And here's some downhill putts. Um, you know, like I said, the lack of glide really kind of shows its face um, when you're putting with it around the circle's edge and a little bit farther out. So definitely be wary of that. Put a little bit more into your putts. Maybe aim a little bit higher. Alright guys, so there is my review on the Dynamic Discs Marshall from the 2016 Trilogy Challenge. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you all for watching. Be sure to stay tuned for part 2, which is going to be featuring the mid-range, the west side sling. And until then guys, as always, go get out and throw.